Hi, today I'm going to show you um, a craft that you can do with paper. Um, it's also you can use it to decorate your house with during Halloween. Um, and it's really fun because I like tissue paper a lot. And kids like to do stuff like this too and it's fun. It keeps them busy for a long time. And it looks really pretty when you're done. You actually light these up with um, lights that you can buy this time of year. So basically what you're going to need um, is a balloon blow it up, tie it, and then you need something to anchor the balloon in. And then what I like to do is not too, you don't need too much tape because really you're going to have to remove this at some point and try to get the bottom. So I'll just put a little bit of tape just to make it stay. Just like I said, don't do too much because sometimes when you take the tape off, you can pop the balloon too soon. So just a little something to keep it down while you're, that should be good, while you're trying to put the strips on to the balloon. Okay, so you're going to need to pre-cut some strips of tissue paper. I mean, you can get this anywhere this time of year, craft store or um, other places. There's two kinds you can get, the bleeding and the non-bleeding. Believe it or not, this, it doesn't leak the color everywhere. This is non-bleeding, and I just actually got this at a local department store. Um, and then you're going to need um, some glue mixture. So you put some glue in and you add a little bit of water, just enough to make it um, usable enough. You sort of just have to work with it. It needs to be a little bit thinner than your regular glue. So it helps you just to spread it better. So what you're going to do first is you're going to put glue onto the surface of the balloon like this. And just work slowly around the balloon and then you put the tissue paper on top and then you go back over it with another layer of glue and you're just going to keep doing this and doing it and doing it until you get about maybe three layers so you can see it's fun I mean kids like to do it it can get a little messy make sure you've got some kind of um, protective device down there like our protective material down there. And so just keep doing that. What you want to do is make sure you're getting, you know, it's smooth. So do that until you have about three coats. Go all the way to the top of the balloon on this. And then obviously when you get down here, you're going to have to take the tape off gently and sort of flip it over. And because of the glue, it will sort of stay in the, in the glass a little bit for you. And so you, you just keep working until you get the whole thing covered, basically with three coats. Okay, then when you're done, you have this. It's dry, and um, if you really want it to dry good, you just take a piece of string when it's still on the wet stage and tie it around there and put a, tie it around a paper clip and, not a paper clip, a clothespin and put the clothespin on there and just hang it, you know, somewhere so it can just dry like that overnight. Okay, so now you're ready to take the balloon out, the fun part. All kids love this part. Um, what you're going to do is hold on to the balloon top because you don't want it to go down in there. And then I just gently, you can pop it or, I mean, you can put a pin in it or I just cut, cut a little hole in it like that. And hopefully, you're going to be able to watch it come out. You might need to do, you can cut a little bit here because it's going to be sitting on, it's going to be sitting like this. Oh boy, scrunched it. It's going to be sitting anyway, so let's see. It should, you should be able to deflate and get this balloon out. Sometimes it takes a little while. It has to detach itself from the sides. Okay, after you um, cut the top of the balloon, let the balloon deflate. Sometimes it will stick to the sides of the balloon. You might get some, some um, crumbling or sinkage in some of the areas here, but that's okay. Just make sure you put a lot of layers of tissue paper on and you'll be fine, at least three layers. But if that happens, don't worry, you, then you just Pick it up, cut the bottom off. You just stick scissors through there, cut the bottom off. Go back up into the balloon, I mean the structure, and push it out, back out gently. Then what you can do is 
paint eyes, nose, mouth. I've just painted the eyes on here, but you can paint a nose and a mouth. And then I just used a stem from another pumpkin. Uh, there are plenty of these. They always fall off, and when you carve them, sometimes you take them off. And you're going to hot glue or glue that right on top, like this. And then for the insides, you put lights. You can use a string of orange lights that you can buy at the store, or you can, I believe, buy these little lights that you put in pumpkins now that you don't use candles with or flames anymore for safety. And you can put one of those in there, and then you plug it in. You can put a lot of these on the steps, and there you go. Beautiful pumpkin decoration.